Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I am Jen, the Caffeinated Crafter. Today is Saturday, November the 12th, 2022. And this is, I think, floss tube number 26. Um, this is gonna be a probably a shorter video. I think it might be a shorter video. I can't, I can't imagine this being a super long video because I have a lot of new starts to show, but it's just like little, like, small amount so there's not really a whole lot to show um so yeah this is a channel where i talk about my cross stitch big things small things everything in between i switch projects like almost on the daily so um i get bits of progress on ev on a lot of different things but because i switch projects so much i don't really hardly finish anything and uh but that's okay we'll see if we can change that next year if you're new to my channel i would like to welcome you um if you like what you have to see then go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the bell to be notified whenever i post a new video i post about every two weeks and if you're returning to my channel i would like to welcome you back thank you so much for following along in my little cross stitch journey over here um yeah, so real quick before I get into it, let me see. Any big news? Oh, my sister got married yesterday. Woo! Congratulations to her. Um, so we were at the wedding last night, and I'm really tired. So if I sound like I'm out of it, that's it's probably why. Because I'm really tired. It was, it was a good time. It was a good time. She was so pretty. Oh. She was so pretty. All brides are, but... I'm a little biased because she's my sister. Anyway, um, I'm trying to think of anything, any any other big news. I think that's I think that's about it. Yeah, that's all I have to share. Um, oh, so so I was on Facebook, and first of all, I got blocked. Uh, from I got, I got thrown in Facebook jail for posting in my in my fa in my games that I play. I was trying to post about cleaning a hotel in one of my like that was one of the tasks in my games was I had to like do so many stitches to like you know dust and make the bed and all that stuff. And Facebook threw me in jail for a week. I can't post in any of my groups until Tuesday. I'm like really anyway but um I'm trying to think if I was in one of those games or if it was just one of the cross stitching groups I'm in I was commenting on something and this person responded to me and I forgot to look at the name of who it was but she, oh, I think it was in uh, uh, Dizzy Stitcher. I'm in his Facebook group, and I think it was in his group. And But I don't remember who, who told me that they were, like, they realized that they were subscribed to my floss tube. And I guess after seeing my profile picture on Facebook and then realizing it was me, they're like, oh, my God, hi, I'm subscribed. I'm like, hello, I found a fan out in the wild. <laughs> they do exist. Um, so hi. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, uh, I completely forgot to double check the name so I could say hi to you in person, sort of, but hello. Yes, I'm talking to you. <laughs> uh, anyway. Yeah, so I have, okay, so I have one whip to show. And then I have a bunch of new starts and then we'll talk about fake plans. Um, yeah, but yeah, I do. I think this is going to be a bit of a shorter video because as I like, I have a bunch of, of starts, but as like I was saying, there's not like, they're just like blips of stuff. So it's going to be like holding it up for a couple minutes and nobody wants to see like, you know, spend five minutes looking at a section of like blue sky or whatever. You know what I mean? So anyway, the one whip I'm going to show you that I did before, since my last video, is this one here. This is um, a stocking from Heaven and Earth Designs. 
It's called The Falling Snow. Artwork is by Alan Guiana. That's what it's going to look like when it's done. And I'm stitching this two over two over one tenth stitch on a 25 count easy count Lugana. And I did about 3,000 tenth stitches since the last time you saw it up in the top. So I got a lot of that sky done and then so and I'm working on getting that tree done that's on there. So there's that. And oh, one thing I did forget to mention when you're doing a stocking, I say this every time when you're looking for the center of your pattern, it's going to be right about there. When you go to do a stocking, do not think that your center is here because you have to take into account the foot of the stocking. So your center will be over here. Please pay attention to that when you do a stocking <coughs> so that you have enough fabric to put the foot of the stocking on. That's where that's at right now. Okay, that's all my whips. It's a lot, huh? All right, so time for new starts. Okay, the first new start that I did is Day Tonight Africa. This is charted by Pain Free Crafts. Artwork is by Lars Stewart. I believe this pattern is now retired, so you cannot get it. And I am stitching this one over one on a 28 count easy count Lugana full cross. That's where I'm at. You see what I mean? It's like, it's very boring right now. I did 600 stitches of pink. I started in the upper left hand corner. It's like right up here. And then there's like four stitches of like a yellow color, yellowish whitish. That's the start of this little uh, leaf right there. But yeah, very boring right now. <laughs> It'll be nice when I get back into it and there's like other colors to start putting in. So here's that one. The next one I did is a uh, single step by Stitch Rovia. And this says, um, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. And I'm stitching this on a 18 count white opalescent Ada. And that is where I'm at with that one. So I got the rib begins and that's the start over here of the miles sign and a cloud that I have to back stitch. So yeah, so there's that. Got a good amount of that. I don't know how many stitches I did on it. I, I think I've been saying this a lot lately. I really gotta get better about, I, I'm tracking the amount of stitches I'm doing. I'm just not writing it down for y'all. Or I don't have it handy because I am very not prepared. Um, the next one I did is Sweet Bee by Citrovia. That's what it's gonna look like when it's done. And I am doing this one on a 28 count Jobelin in the color lamb's wool. That's where I'm at with that one. Let's turn it out. I like the, um, I like the, the fabric with this piece. I think it's going to look really good in the end. I like how that's coming out. So there's that one. And the next one I worked started is Christmas Rules by Primrose Cottage Stitches. And that's what it's gonna look like. And it's uh, Christmas Rules, deck the halls. I can't read backwards. Drink hot chocolate, hang your stocking, build a snowman, spread joy, go sledding and believe. And I'm stitching this on a 16 count Ada in the 
It says the color is true blue, but it looks more like a gray, which was what I was going for was the gray. Look how cute the little guy is. Isn't that adorable? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in when I pull this out again. I'm going to go back in with another thread to do that nose again because it's hard to see. Um, can't really see the nose very well. So I'm going to go back in and do that, that part again. It says to do it with one thread, but you can't hardly see it. And then I got to do the word snowman on that part. And then the border below it and then this build a snowman section will be done. So yeah, there's that. And then the next one I did is, um, it's a, it's stitch along, but I did not start it when this, the South started, but me and a small group of friends are doing our own little sow with it because we're starting it after the fact. The last pattern has already been released. This is the Haunted Library Cell from Lola Crow Cross Stitch on Etsy. Um, <coughs> I have all the I have all the patterns. I just don't have the printout of the last, the final piece. I don't have the final the final chapter in front of me. It's over, it's over on my table over there. But that's the prologue, which is fine because that's where I started was the prologue. So that's where I started. Got a good amount of this done. So I worked on this on the weekend. I think I got close to a thousand stitches on it. You can see the little empty spots where the person, where somebody's going to go. I think, is it the headless horseman that's going to go right there? I don't remember. But anyway, that's where I'm at with that one. And then this next piece here is a restart. This is Summer Sampler from Cooler Design Studio. I decided to restart this because, oh, artwork is by Sandy Orton. I decided to restart this because I did not like the fabric I had originally started this piece on. So I am restarting this on a 28 count tea dyed Monaco, two over two. That's where I'm at with that. I started in the upper left-hand corner. And I think I'm going to do with this what I was doing with the autumn sampler, where once I finish like a, a section of this, I'm going to go ahead and go back and do the back stitching on it. Because you guys know how much I love my back stitching. And I figured if I wait until the very end, it's going to end up like the other three projects that I currently have that are just sitting there because all they need is back stitching and I, re I refuse to do it because I don't want to. Um, the next piece I started was White Tiger Ghosts. This is a crop from the Cross Stitch Studio. Terrible printout. I don't know what's up with the, with the stripes on this. My printer was being a little heifer. And this is 300 by 300. So it's not too big. And this is where I'm at on that one. This is being stitched on just a roll of 18 count ivory Ada that I picked up at the craft store that would fit it. And yeah, so there's that one. The next one, I got to pull pattern keeper up again because I don't have a printout of this one. Let me see. Got to find it. Next one is Day Tonight Iceland. Again, by Laura Stewart. Charted by Pain Free Crafts. Another retired pattern. And that's what it's going to look like when it's done. 600 by 430. And that's about the size of the Day Tonight Africa. I forgot to mention that one. And I got 400 stitches on that one. And I'm doing this one over one full cross on a 28 count easy count Lugana. Like I said, there's not really like a whole lot to show on these things. And I'm not going to have you stare at the same like color block for forever. So, 
because that's just silly. Um, all right, the next one that I started is um, Easter ca Easter Calendar. I don't know why it's weird for me to say that. Easter Calendar by Tiny Modernist. That's what it's going to look like when it's done. And I don't know the name of the fabric, like the color. It's like a hand-dyed purple. I think it's 28 count, some type of purple. That's about, I was trying to see if I could get the color of it. That might be about the color. Yeah, I think that's about the color, like uh, shading. It's always so hard to show this stuff when it's a hand dyed fabric. Now for a close up. So I've almost got the 11th block done. Number 11. <laughs> and you know what's funny is this is only 100 more stitches then this is 500 stitches right here and this is 400 and this is so much more interesting to look at <laughs> but it looks like i got more done doesn't it um i still have to put the beak on the bird and then do two little flowers right here and then do the white uh the white line to block it out and then 11 will be done and i started in the middle that's why I did 11 instead of the other ones first. So I think the middle is like right there. I just kind of did that. I don't know which one I'm going to go to when it's done. I don't know if I'm going to do the birds, the, the nest, or if I'm going to do the goose. Or whatever that thing is. I don't know. Or maybe I'll go down and do the sun, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, so that's that one. Then the last one I'm going to show you is from Pantini Pantini. This is Craft Supplies and Other Lies. It says, I will not buy craft supplies this month and other lies I tell myself. And I'm stitching this on a 16 count Ada in the color Dirty. And that's where I'm at. I did all that in one night, Thursday night, because I didn't have to worry about getting up early. And this was started, when I started stitch on this, it was stitching up. It was going like super quick. I got a thousand stitches in on this thing. So yeah, I got a lot of that done. And I really like it. It's so cute. I like it a lot. So I got to finish the word bye. And then I got to do this section down here. It says that the part that says this month with... There's going to be a stack of fabric here and a box of patterns here. And then the and other lies I tell myself. And then I got to finish. There's like a little needle book over here that goes under the Y. And I got to finish this spool of thread right here. It's like this one up here. Yeah. So. Isn't that cute? So yeah, that's all my new starts. I did not stitch last night because like I said earlier, I was at my sister's wedding and we got home and I frankly was, I was just too tired. I didn't wanna. Um, so let's talk about fake plans. Um, I'm gonna keep doing a bunch of new starts. This was supposed to be my start last night. So it will now be my start for today. It's Halloween Quaker by Lila Studio, right? Halloween Quaker by Lila Studio. I will be doing this on a 32 count vintage Stormy Night Wigana. And I will be doing this in DMC. I did not get the fancy flosses for it. I'll be doing that in DMC. Um, I got a bunch more starts planned. Um, and I'm still... I had this whole thing worked out when December rolled around about how I was going to do like a rotation or something. And I'm still thinking about it. I don't know what I'm going to do. So as you guys know, I jump projects like every day. So I was trying to come up with a good rotation of how I was going to go ahead and 
work on my projects, but I don't know if I like it the more I think about it. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm thinking maybe that what the last thing I had talked about was um, doing like stitching days on them rather than my original plan was to do like a certain number of stitches on each one before I kind of like set it aside and pulled a new one out. But I don't know if I want to do it that way or if I want to do like stitching days, like if I have like a certain number in a pile and then I have to stitch on each one of them for like five days or 10 days or something before I set it aside. Because if I do that, then if I can only get like 400 on one day and then like 800 on another day, I'm not going to, I think, I think I might do the days. And then I might do the dates because I, I was trying to do the stitch amounts last month in October and some of them I would go over and then some of them would be like almost there but not quite. I think one of them I wanted to get like 2,000 and I was at like 1,800 and I was like getting tired of working on it and I was like God. but I couldn't get 200 more it was just too late at night and I was like and I hate switching projects at like I don't like to like start one project one day and then switch in the middle of the day to something else. I want to just work on that one project for the rest of the day. So I don't know. I'm still working it all out. I think I might do the days though, just like five days and then put it away and pull something else out. Not five days in a row though. Not five days in a row. Just have like maybe 10 projects work on those. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway, yeah, super short video today because there's not really a whole lot to show with new starts except the little blob of color that I started. Um, okay, yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep rambling on because I feel like that's what I'm starting to do. Anyway, if you liked what you had to see, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you have not already, and the bell to be notified whenever I post a new video, and um. Yeah, that's it. That's all I got. Okay. Yeah, I got to end this thing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you uh, what you had to see. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. I will do my best to answer them. Um, I mean, I'm going to answer them. I'll do my best to make sure it's the right answer. And uh, yeah, that's it. So stay safe. Get a lot of stitching in. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.